team thing, it's like... How how do you... They're talking about the whole... How... What is it? Talking about how... They're... I don't know what... Trying to make a profit or it was like... They've... They meant to do this before ahead of time. It's like... How do you Wait. get... Yeah, it's like... I don't know. It's like... Vaccines are like these chips and like they planned it ahead of time or something like this. And I'm like, how do you get... How do you get hundreds of countries to come to an agreement that vaccines are needed for this well i mean if it gets out into every country they're probably going to go to the milkman and say Where's the milk? but I, no it's like why like why would You have the Chinese vaccine, and you have the Russian vaccine, you have the German vaccine, you have the American vaccine, you have the UK vaccine. It's like, there's too much uh, conflict of interest for it to be like a like a, a vaccine hoax, or a, 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 like... Is somebody behind that, is somebody behind the vaccine for all of those? Question, question mark? Do they really need the vaccine though? If they control everything in the world, do they really need the vaccine? Wait, what? You're asking if there's one person or one group behind all the vaccines in the world, right? No, 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 just this specific vaccine. Like, is there, like, a head, like... Oh, I'm sure there's, like, someone on, on the top of each vaccine yeah. manufacturer. Bill Gates, but, like, take a pinch off of everybody because he, like, put a patent on it. But then it's like, it's more, it's more so like, I don't know. It's like people are like calling it like, I, I had it in my mind, but I forgot how to. But think, think about this. They, they like banned and threatened companies who were making, who were making off brand from what I understand, off-brand COVID vaccines, the governments were, I don't know if it was the governments or like a corporation, but they were coming down on them and not letting them research it independently. It had to come from this funneled source. So knowing that, it it's not that far off to think that someone's getting some sort of royalty out of it. No, I, it's not a money thing, but the whole thing that it's like, vaccines aren't effective or just this like it's just it's a whole the whole thing is fake the COVID-19 yeah. is oh. fake the whole vaccine is fake the whole everything is fake it's like how do you get everyone all the countries in the world to collaborate and agree on this thing right even Russia acknowledges it and made its own vaccine I like how do you get everyone all these countries and governments to be like yeah this thing exists if it if but, it doesn't right but think about it if somebody is making money off of it and they're like hey I like I, th I think of it like pot legalization or decriminalization right it was this big thing where it's like no you can't do that and then it was legalized and then people started recognizing how much the states were making on it and now they're like okay we'll offer that you know that's how it spread. They're like, you're making billions of dollars off of that? All right, we'll find a way to work it into our system, even though we're in the Bible Belt. I, money money, I, power, money aside, like, I'm not talking about, like, profits. Because everything is a profit. Everything. I'm talking about how it's, like, how they're putting microchips in you, bro. Well, that's, I mean, that's on a different level, I <laughs> I don't know about that. Like, l literally everything on today in today is in today's society is to make a profit. Whatever it is, healthcare, education, vaccines. Well, to, to try to make a profit, yes. <laughs> the goal is to make a profit, not that it will be a profit, yes. Yeah. But it's like <sighs> the whole mark of the beast thing, and I'm like, bro.
I, I need to find what I thought before. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Matt, though, you think Americans are a joke? Think about the the French, bro. France is a lot more conspiracy theorist than the U.S. is. Dude, I want to meet a French Alex Jones. Dude, that'd be so... Uh, oh, on the flood. The earth is flat. Let me get my wand. The earth is flat. And the thing is, America is such a big population. Yeah, you're going to get a more weirdos and more conspiracy theorists than a country with 10 million people. But America's a superpower too, so it's automatically a target. It's like you you are more prone to fail when you produce more, right? Mm. Like, think of Apple, right? Compared to... If you're making 100 million products versus a company that's only making 1 million products, the 100 million dollar product or 100 million company product is probably going to be more prone to failure. There's more chances of it to fail. Yeah, but we don't have the highest population of people. We just have a terrible education system. Actually, we have one of the best, probably top ten. Education system? Yeah. No, dude. Do yeah. Research. No, you no, do your research. I'm literally yeah. gonna look it up. I don't care if I die. <laughs> we do, we best education in the world. We definitely don't. Bro, I literally looked it up, and United States is one. <laughs> we have the bro. We have the lowest. Finland, Japan, South. Okay, we're 20. Whatever. <laughs> according to one website. According to one website. We're the terrible. other we the other website says America's num number one. Yeah. Is the is the website called AmericanNumberOne.com? <laughs> of course it is, bro. No, we 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 have a terrible system, bro. Depends who you ask. Like, what is your, what is your, what do you, what is your, like, the mo I see 10 most educated countries in the world. U.S. is number six. Yeah, but educated doesn't mean intelligent. How do you define intelligence? There's, dude, there's a lot of research on it. I, I define intelligence as not being homeless. Like, I can make my own definitions. That doesn't mean it's not accurate. It doesn't matter. I can make some fugazi-ass shit. I don't own a home. Okay, well, then you're not intelligent. Am I, am I homeless? Sure. Because you don't have a home. Right. So that means you're unintelligent. I'm, I'm, I'll be the first to tell you that I'm definitely not the brightest crayon in the box. That's not the point, bro. How do you define intelligence? They did. There's been research on it, man. America is... We have a... We have an education system that was built off of the Industrial Revolution to train people to stand in line and clock in on in factories. It hasn't been changed. Maybe it hasn't, but we're, we still have one of the best universities, best educations in the world. I, I'm, I'm just saying, man. I Me too. Worked for three colleges and spent. I've got six years in school. It's, uh, but your anecdote doesn't mean anything. Well, sure it does. My experience means something. Okay, so does mine. And I say my experience means that U.S. is the best educational okay. system in the world. Have you been to university? I have not. Well, I think that that would be... That would be a, uh, a piece of the argument. Like, uh, have you been to community college? Yeah. Which uh, community college? TCC. What is it? TCC. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so you know, you got you have credits. Yeah. You think that that was a good 
Worth your money? Yeah, I uh, got it for free. <laughs> I got mine. Well, I didn't get mine for free, but I did join the military. Look, Matt, I'm not saying that Americans are the smartest people in the world. There's a lot of dumb people. Yeah. But we still have one of the b best quality educational capacity if people want to pursue that. Most people don't go to college or university right, in the U.S. Right. And a lot of people who have never gone to college make more money. But we're, we're talking about intelligence, right? So how are you going to, like... Well, I get, yeah, like, what are we... What, I get, what are we... <laughs> we went from the most educated in the, in the world to if college right. is a good experience to people who didn't attend college made more money than me. So what... what Educa we, education is... That education is an agenda, and I'm going to say that from working at three universities for more than ten years, it's an agenda. You cannot you cannot write a paper and disagree with an instructor and get as many points as somebody who writes a paper that agrees with that instructor. That's the education system in America in a nutshell. Mm. And anybody who's been to the university will tell you the same thing. Hey, get over here. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, shit. Whatever you want to say. I, all I'm saying is that U.S. is one of the best, has one of the best educational systems in the world. It appears to, yes. Does it have, does it have one of the best opportunities to go to an education system? Yes, it does. So tell me why I'm... I don't know what this guy's doing, bro. I don't know. I'm following him. Perfect example is I'm in a program right now. Here, you want this butt? This stock? Um, there's dudes up there. Watch out. Matto, I, bro, look it up yourself. Don't, don't, don't even ask me. Just look at the top level of quality of education in the world. What's this guy's name? Matto. Matto. M E T O. You guys keep adding these things if that if I'm talking about in general that USA is one of the regardless of everything else Twenty twenty one best global university rankings. Harvard, US, Massachusetts, US three, Stanford, US. There you go, bro. The first four in US. Top six is Harvard. US. Dude, Harvard's a joke. Oxford is one, two is Stanford, three is Harvard, four is California Institute of Technology, five is Massachusetts Instant Bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm Dude, telling the, you. Bro. This I'm is Google's 
<laughs> okay. Don't drink Kool-Aid. I'm sorry that you can't accept the facts, man. I'm telling you, this is this is how people get in debt and don't get a job. Dude, we're not talking about debt. You keep bringing in other factors. We're talking about the quality of education. You don't think that owing money to somebody factors into the quality of your education? So I could pay ten bucks to somebody and and read a book, or pay a hundred grand to somebody and read two books. You're bringing in other factors. We're, we're talking about just one factor. But qu no, but it, you can't. It's not in a vacuum. Like it's not like. Okay, so how would you rate the best universities in the world? How would I rate the best universities yeah, in the yeah, world? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would I would rate the best universities on the world in how they teach people how to think. And America is at the bottom of the list of that. Have you been to other countries and Have experienced? I? Have you experienced other countries' education? Absolutely. Yeah, my ex-girlfriend's Austrian. She worked at the college. I went there. Okay. And my right. cousin uh, from Moldova has the same education as they do here. As they do in the states. Yeah. He has a, wait, how does like you have the you're to, you're to, you said that to to get you to think or something like that. They yeah they te they teach you how to think critically. No like. Right. They don't teach you what to think. They teach you how to think. But they need you. Oh, not at, not universities because universities isn't part of the education system, Ethel. <laughs> well, a lot of universities are private. But I think people, everyone is trying to identify what they think is the best, and that's all subjective. Yeah, yeah, you have to operationally define what best is. So, yeah, okay. so everyone's going to have their own answers. So the operational definition that I would give it is the ability to teach you how to think and how to how to critically analyze a subject or a topic. And that's fine. You can you can think about it like that. I mean, how would you rank it? Um, probably of how how many doctors and how many people are inventing stuff, how many people are providing to just the advancement of society. So is, for example, is Harvard providing a large amount of students that uh, somehow provide some sort of advancement to society? that benefits society in how a you, how, how would you measure that think about the wheel think about cancer research the wheel yeah the invention of the wheel harvard didn't invent the wheel uh, that the, <laughs> that thing they did bro it's all examples just inventions in general so what so what has somebody from harvard and like, bro i don't know i don't haven't looked it up think what thomas edison went to he studied right he was a, a professor in the u.s right I, I don't know if he was a professor was he i knew he was an inventor well, let's see what was he i guess invent inventor and uh i mean but 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 think about it you could you could make the same case of like steve jobs and steve wozniak and Bill Gates, right? Like these are college dropouts. Okay. Right. But th the quality of education they got even before they finished college, right? Before, or sorry, before they dropped out. I mean, they. I think that they had a passion. I mean, they had a business in their garage. I don't know. Like the K through 12 system. So, Mental, let me ask you this. Every country is going to have their ignorant people. If you can name me 50 states in the U.S., 
without looking at Google, then I'll say Turkey's education system is great. When people ask some hobo down the street on, on YouTube to, to name 10 different countries, how are you going to get the percentage metal? How are you going to get, the, how do you measure the ignorance? I'm making a drink real quick. I'll back. How do you, <laughs> I can go, I survey. Yeah, but how do they choose the people to take the survey? They're not going to ask every single American. If you ask 10 million people who attended educa uh, higher education in the U.S., you're going to get a high score. If you ask somebody who didn't even pass high school, who didn't graduate from high school, yeah, they're not going to give a good answer. You can't just pick and select who. <laughs> yeah, and governments aren't making these these surveys. The government is not asking, who uh, do you know the geography of the world? Look, man, I'm not defending the U.S.'s. Hold on, let me rephrase that. Wait, you are defending Hold the U.S. That, can you? <laughs> well, I said, let me rephrase that. Can you just shut up? <laughs> are you gonna say that to me? Are you gonna? Are you gonna tell me to turn my mic off? Come on. Don't hate on me, micro. I love how everyone's anecdotes are, are are proof of. Yeah, I'm defending the U.S. because the U.S. is one of the best countries in the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm one of the on best that. educational systems. It just I'm, other countries. Other countries seem there. to agree there, bro. America. I'm not, I'm not saying it's perfect. America. I never said it's. I, I'm not saying it has the perfect, the most perfect educational system. I'm not saying we're the most smartest people in the world. But I'm saying we're definitely up there. We're not the most smartest people in the world. The I will give you that America is an awesome place to live, and the only place that I would want to live. How can 